Um, I mean, I'd always been quite good at school. I always had quite high grades. So I think it was sort of naturally assumed I was going to go. Um, but I think at the end of the day, one of my favourite subjects was geography. Uh, and I kind of quite liked looking at um, other places. So I grew up in Cornwall. Um, so you sort of, you do meet a lot of visitors who then go back to other parts of the world. And I was always sort of filled with the desire to to go as well. <laughs> so uh, I thought, oh, how am I going to best get to do that? And I thought, well, going to university away from home uh, is probably the best chance of doing that. Not just, you know, to, to study, but also the people you're going to meet and things like that. Um, so I suppose that in part was what inspired me to sort of go on to higher education. Uh, I was told to. <laughs> um, I Well, I, I'd taken anthropology at college, um, so I already knew that I was interested in carrying it on. Um, so then it was just a case of looking at which universities offered it. Um, and I had, quite luckily, I had a, a lecturer who was quite sort of clued up on where to study best, and sort of bringing out your interests. He was like, well, what are you most interested in? Well, I'm quite interested in Southern Africa. I'd been on a school trip there, so I'd really quite enjoyed it. And it was something, and I did an um, uh, EPQ, an extended project qualification, based on what I learned while I was out there. So I sort of already had the, the beginning of it there. Um, and then I'd never heard of SOAS, which is true of a lot of people, I think, who come here. Um, but he just said, oh, well, you know, SOAS is, is a fantastic place because it specialises in, in Asia and Africa. So if you really want sort of the best chance of, of delving in deep into what you've already expressed an interest in, then that is your, your best place to go. Um, and then I was lucky enough to do sort of a week um, before everyone else arrived um, for students who hadn't had anyone in their family go to university. Um, and I knew from that week that that was definitely the right decision for me. Uh, it was quite good. Uh, I mean, it was quite good. It was fantastic, actually. <laughs> um, I never really realised how um, much I'd be able to pursue what I was interested in. And my interest, from when I first started, my interest did change um, simply through, you know, accessing what was on offer here. Um, so that was academic side, and I, I, you know, I've been quite interested in Southern Africa. I'd also been interested in film. I didn't quite realise there was so much sort of film courses at SOAS related to anthropology. Um, so I sort of did like two or three each of my units each year was related to sort of Southern Africa or anthropology of film. So by the end of the degree, you know, I felt like I'd come away. I'd come away with a social anthropology degree, but I'd specialised so much. Um, I felt like I, you know, had, had really, really pursued my interests. So that was, you know, what made it fantastic for me. But then also the other side, yeah, I, I was in the drama, I did a few of the societies, and I ended up president of the drama society. Um, I sort of made friends for life from that. So even though some of them, you know, I left, graduated before they did, and they stayed here sort of a year or two more than me. I'm still in touch with them almost five years later after graduating. Um, and that, you know, that's fantastic. And I think that's really good. And they're sort of spread across the world as well now. So just by coming here, you know, I think, oh, where am I going to go on holiday this year? It's like, oh, well, you know, so-and-so is in New York at the moment, so let's go there. <laughs> or so-and-so is, you know, doing a, a placement, you know, with the UN in Geneva or something like that. So you sort of, you keep in touch with your friends and it really sort of enhances your adult life as well. Um, and that was fantastic for me. I never, never really expected to get that just from being here. Um, so it had quite a good impact because I think doing anthropology, a lot of people then ask you, well, what can you do with that degree? Which is sort of the first thing you get asked by your parents when you tell them what you're doing. Um, so it really forces you to sort of think outside the box and think, well, well you know, what skills am I going to get from doing anthropology and where is it going to be applicable? Um, so. I did a master's degree after I did anthropology here because I suddenly realised I don't I didn't really want to be academic in it so I didn't want to you know go do a master's do a PhD and become a professor I really wanted to use what I'd learned to try and impact the world um, so I did a master's degree uh, in public policy over the road at UCL with sort of the mind of working in government. Um, the UK government or, you know, the, U the UN and things like that. Um, so that was my sort of initial career pursuit. Um, but after having done the master's degree and I did a few internships uh, at different organisations, I, I realised that I was quite happy to stay in London. Um, so I really wanted to find something in London that would utilise the skills of sort of making an impact on, on people um, in education particularly. Um, so my first, so when I left, uh, one of my first 
uh, jobs was working for a philanthropic organisation. Um, so the, the organisation was business consultants, but they donated a small percentage of their profits to the philanthropic uh, team within the organisation. So I worked for that organisation, mainly sort of organising um, the programmes, calling up schools, getting them involved, uh, and then actually doing some of the sessions as well, so doing the delivery uh, of the programmes, which was quite fun. Um, and that got me into my current job, which is working at the Social Mobility Foundation, which is the same principle in improving social mobility in the UK, but it's working with students from year 12 and above to get them into university, um, raising their aspirations, and then also making sure that they're achieving their goals by going into the careers they want to do afterwards. First of all, look on the website and find what the alumni have said. Um, and then I would even sort of look at past students, you know, who they are, what they've gone on to do, um, and think about whether that is, you know, what you want to achieve. Um, I'd also look at the library, actually, because the library has some really, you know, unique resources that you can't find anywhere else in the world. And I think having access to those kind of materials when you're at university uh, it is unparalleled. You, you, will, you will make friends for life. Um, there'll probably be people, you're probably the only person coming here, so you're going to have to sort of push yourself out of your comfort zone. But um, when you do, you know, the friends you'll make will be incredible and you'll have such amazing experiences.